Yo, what's up guys? My name is Mr. Freeze2244 and welcome to the Pascal Consortium Escalation. This is a new escalation in Mendoza that's came out today. And I'm going to show you a silent assassin rating for all three levels for this. And if you've missed any of the escalations that I've covered so far for Hitman, there'll be a drop down card, a link in the description, and a link bar at the end as well. So, for this one, we are going to need to acquire ourselves the earpiece. We can't pacify or eliminate the sniper team, and we have a restricted loadout, uh, which means that you have nothing but your camera, basically. And that's been the style of the entire, of all the free-to-play escalations in, in Hitman 3, so, again, it's continuing that trend. Uh, so, we, first of all, we need to acquire the earpiece, and then there's going to be further objectives after that. So, the first thing we're going to do is come up to this area over here, press, press our body against this crate right here, and then subdue this guard over the, the crate, leave him there, grab his shotgun, and take his disguise. This just means that we can, you know, walk around and move around the area a little bit easier with less enforcers. We're going to jump over this, these pallets now, circle around this guard because he is an enforcer, and then we need to climb through this window. The earpiece is just going to be on the desk. Once you've got that, two objectives will pop up for you to eliminate two particular targets. And uh, they're rather straightforward. Neither of them are enforcers to this disguise, so it's very uh, simple for level one. So what we've got to do is just basically, basically walk up to them, scan their face whenever the game wants to uh, register it. There we go. And when you get the uh, confirmation, just go ahead and give the order. That's going to count as an accident kill, so it's not going to affect your silent assassin rating. So you don't need to worry about the body or anything like that. Because these are counting as accident kills. Here's our second target. We're literally just walking up to him and just scanning him. Again, give the order. Once he's taken care of, we can just now head to the exit, which is going to be the boat exit, just over here. You automatically have the key. So I don't know if you noticed, at the very start, it says key obtained. And that would be the boat key, to save you from going inside the boathouse to get the key. But yeah, level 1 is quite straightforward. Shouldn't have any dramas there. There we go. Alright, let's moving on to level 2. And for level 2, we have four targets. And it's basically saying we have to take them all out with the Seeker 300 Tactical, which is a sniper rifle they're using. So uh, we're not actually going to do it ourselves. And we're not allowed to change our disguises this time. So we have to do all suit only. Uh, which is, again, straightforward enough, as long as you know what you're doing. So first things first, we automatically have the earpiece on us now. Um, as you'll see here, 47 call out to uh, Falcon, which is the people, the sniper team. So first things first, we're going to take out this first target. So while you're in the bushes, crouched, we are going to confirm the target here. And then eliminate him as soon as you get the opportunity. And then once you've done that, we can now head to our second target. Stay crouched, head over here. And then you need to scan, scan him. And again, give the order. Over. I see it. Standing by for kill order. Over. Take the shot. Over. Now we're going to circle all the way around this area so we don't get spotted by these two guards. And now we're going to head into the mansion area because that's where the second and the third target is going to be. The third and fourth, the fourth target. I'm, that's what I'm saying. So there's two people inside the mansion area. We need to get in there. We're just staying in the bush for now and waiting for the guard to move out of the way. There's two ways into this building. You can uh, climb the wall, or you can head through the door. Uh, the only way to head through the door, though, is because it's locked. This guard has a key on us. That's the reason why he's here for this escalation. So if you want to, you can uh, subdue him and grab the key that he drops, or you can just follow where I'm going. Either way, I'm going to subdue him anyway, just to hide his body in the bushes, and I'm going to go this way. The reason for that is I just think it's a little bit more easy to get past everything. But once we drop down here, we can circle around. Gets us to where we need to be. 
which is just here. So we're just going to climb up here and then climb up the wall as well. We're also going to wait for the guard to pass us a little bit before we climb over. Stay hidden, make sure you are concealed. Then scan the third target's face. Wait for this guard to walk past you before you give the order though. We, we want to do that so we can actually get easily get past him after. So I'm just watching my mini-map right now. Wait for the guard to pass me. Give the order. And that will safely, safely allow us to get past him from behind. Next we're going to come here. We're waiting for uh, Don Yates and his wife and his guards to come out of this building. So we're just going to hide here for now. And uh, when everyone's got their back to you, you can proceed and climb up the pipe. Our final target is going to be on this balcony, but it won't let you scan his face unless you're actually up there. So just be wary of the two guards that are in the building to your right, and then scan the target's face, and then give the order while you're here, before this guard comes back, because he comes back fairly sharpish. And the sniper is clearly not a very good shot because he's missed his first shot there. Oh, unless it's the weird hitboxes that I've been talking about for a very long time. When you're trying to hit a target in the back of the head and it hits their shoulder instead because they've got a weird hitbox. I've mentioned this many times before in the past, but that's probably what that is. But yeah, we need to get past this guard now. So what we could do is retrace our steps the way we came. But the fact that I'm here at this point, I'm kind of committed to this route. So <laughs> I have to just wait for this guard to move out of the way first. But what I should have done and what I advise you to do is just go back the way you came. So you don't have to do all this all kind of th stuff. So once you're out of here, the only uh, guard you need to be wary of is the guards to your left that will come up and down. And this guard, that's just there. He comes up and down as well. He could be at the bottom of these stairs. So just be wary of that. If he is, you just have to wait for him to move or circle all the way around. Either way, you're going to head to this boat and uh, we're going to exit the mission. That's an easy sign, Assassin for level 2. the confirmation of the silent assassin so let's go ahead and move on to level three and at level three we have to make sure all the bodies are hidden this time which is i think is a stupid complication considering the royal accident kills but nevertheless we have an additional target as well so this is basically how you do it first of all grab this fish from the bucket You're gonna need that to cause a little bit of a distraction for the second target and it allows us to knock out the further guards a little bit later on so again, we're going to follow the same order of uh, order of play. But first of all, we're actually going to run over to this radio and turn the radio on. That's just to move the guard into these bushes, because otherwise we can't hide his body otherwise. So then scan his face. Once he moves into the bushes, go ahead and give the order. And immediately rush over to your second guard. Or second target, rather. We kind of want to catch him before he moves because once he starts moving that's when it causes a little bit difficulty of trying to uh, get him in and hide him. So what we're going to do is throw the fish in these bushes right here and then scan his face. So when he does come over he uh, will be automatically hidden once we take him out. So go ahead and give the order. So we're also going to pick up his weapon and pick up the fish. We're not allowed to change disguises either because it's an automatic uh, an automatic loss. Mission failed. So again, we're back at this point. We're waiting for the guard to move out of the way. I don't advise knocking him out because there's nowhere to hide his body and hiding him in the bushes doesn't count. It only counts if they're dead, which is a strange one to me. And you're not allowed to kill him either. So we're going to crouch run through the bushes here. And then edge along this ledge and circle back round to where we was in level 2. So 
So the first three targets are relatively straightforward. It's only the fourth and fifth target where it has some variation of complication. So we're going to climb up here, wait for that guard there to bypass us before we climb up. Once we do that, we'll make sure we're concealed in the bushes, scan our target. And we're going to wait for this guard that's behind us to move past us before we uh, give the order. Just so we can actually get past the guard easy because he stands still once he sees this accident kill taking place. But this body is automatically hidden because there's like a pool of water behind him. But that's three targets down. So we're just going to make sure that guard's not looking at us there. And Don Yates and his wife is about to come out as well. So we're just going to hide away from them until we have an opportunity to climb this pipe without getting spotted. So once everyone has their back to you, you can uh, go and climb the, that little pipe there. That will get us on the roof. So the target on this first balcony, we're going to leave him for now. And what we're actually going to do instead is take out the target that's just walking around the, the back there. So what I'll advise you to do is just go ahead and pull out your camera and then scan his face from here. He is going to see you, but uh, just break the line of sight before he uh, fully spots you. But you need to take him out here, really. Give the order as soon as possible. Leave him there for now. Now what we've got to do is this guard here that's not the target. We're going to wait for him to go back in the building. And then we're going to knock him out. And then we're going to take out our final target. Because all these bodies, whether they're knocked out or not, have to be hidden. So now we knocked him out, we have to hide him in the, the closet. Our target outside needs to be taken care of as well, so we're going to hide him in the crate. And our final target should be relatively straightforward because he's right here. So all we've got to do is just get behind him and scan him. Go ahead and give the order. And all we've got to do now is just hide his body in the in the closet as well. And once you've hidden him, that's all the objectives complete. So all we have left to do is get to an exit. Again, we still can't use any disguises or anything like that. So just keep that in mind. So we need to backtrack a little bit. We need to get to, back to where we came from. Wait for anyone that could potentially see us as we drop down. There we go. Jump over this wall. Can't jump over there. So again, we're going back the way we came through this door. Now there's going to be a guard out here because uh, level two, we actually knocked him out. Level three, we can't because we can't hide his body. So we're just going to wait for him to move. It's mainly about waiting around and being patient for this last one, just to get to the exit. go once he moves away we can now uh, get past him so again you've got targets you've got two guards there on your left and there's a guard right here he does take a while to move so what we're actually going to do is utilize the fish that we have throw it over there so it allows us to get past him and get to the boat nice and simple nice and easy There we go, that's the entire gimmick of the escalations where we're actually taking out all our targets without actually even touching them. Which is uh, an interesting concept, but I just didn't like that final complication of having to hide the bodies when they're technically counted as accident kills. But that's the Pascal Consortium. There's the Silent Assassin rating of confirmed as well. So that's all three levels entirely done for this escalation in Mendoza. So hopefully that has helped you out overall. That's going to do it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Feel free to drop a like on this video if it did help you out. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. And hit the bell notification to be notified of all future videos and live streams. 
consider supporting me on Patreon or even becoming a member of the channel by clicking the join button below or clicking the link in the description. If you've missed any escalations that I've covered so far, there will be a link after these rolling credits. And a big shout out to Paul Lilly, Big D, Bedry, Argel, Mark Davis, Constantine Mueller, Isaiah Blake, Nico Sampai, Anas A, Chris, JD, Ryan Ortiz, and True Gamer for becoming top tier Psycho Assassin members. I really do appreciate that. If you want your name read out as well, what we've got to do is become a Psycho Assassin member just like these guys. And I'll be sure to read your name out in the month of June. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.